pariahs oppressing us as they are on their way. Neil deGrasse Tyson yells out, insisting the most frustrating and sad disclosure made by the pilgrim in the past ten years. A revelation that scientists were not the smallest piece prepared for, since the pilgrim sent back this disturbing data from space. Laid out, specialists have been unable to rest, and everyone is walking around a stressed environment. Experts, analysts, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, modelers, have been mixed from their stations to fight these secretive objects that Traveler just spotted. We have no clue about where these surprising things are coming from or where they are going. Yet, what we should rest assured about is that we have seen nothing like them previously. What are these puzzling items that were recently found by Pioneer One? Join us today as we dissect these reactions in Neil deGrasse Tyson's Pioneer One, which has identified 500 dark objects passing by in space. For close to 50 years, Voyager 1 has been cruising through the streets of space, exploring the significant spaces that ground-based telescopes have been denied from seeing and revealing disclosures that leave our mouths totally open in shock. Because of virtuoso characters that stream in overflow at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Research Facility, Voyager 1 has been the splendid core of the new districts of intergalactic space. This engineering work of art has awakened us to the glorious marvels that exist in our universe. In another advancement, Neil deGrasse Tyson has confirmed that Pioneer has perceived 500 dark objects drifting tranquilly in space. This news came as a shock to standard analysts, shaking them as everyone started poring over the data accumulated by Pilgrim 1. Something odd was fermenting not too far off, and it was testing to settle this frothing question that had staggered even the best of scientists. Since Neil deGrasse Tyson affirmed this divulgence, Different interpretations have been flying in the air, trying to draw a particular picture that gets a handle on the mystery. Had it been another rocket that conveyed the sort of stupefying data that was recently conveyed from space, analysts could have scrutinized the legitimacy of the information. Anyway, it is Adventure 1 we are talking about here, the space test that has been cruising through the immense ways of space for almost 50 years now and has outperformed our assumptions. Like a patient who beat disease, Voyager 1 has outperformed scientists' anticipated life expectancy of three years to spend more than 45 years in space, uncovering history-making revelations. Meanwhile, the most intriguing part about this popular story is that Pilgrim is composing this achievement story from a very far distance from Earth. The last time specialists checked, they saw that the space test was 14.5 billion miles from our planet, running endlessly in space with no sign that it would decrease its speed any time in the not-so-distant future. Researchers say that the space test has been going at a rate on various occasions the distance between the Earth and the Sun every year. This is one reality that specialists have found a little difficult to accept, given that regularly one would have expected the space test speed to have declined altogether, given the longevity of its mission in space. After looking into it further, it shows up Traveler 1 will undoubtedly be the special case as to this story, and it has shown proof of this again with its latest disclosures. It was very much like any other day for specialists when Adventurer 1 delivered energizing news that would stick in their recollections for a long time. Voyager 1 had coincidentally found some unusual items passing by in space. This revelation was startling, which makes sense of the initial confusion among cosmologists when they investigated data showing that around 500 dark objects had showed up from nowhere. In a brief second, we went from having no information on these items to specialists breaking their intellectual prowess searching for replies to this puzzle that nature had placed on their laps. Specialists were in a fix, and the fault could be traced to only one liable party. Pilgrim 1. Out of nowhere, analysts too knew that the answer for unwinding the secret also lay on the heavy shoulders of the space test. From the outset, when insight about this revelation broke out, a few specialists considered the way things were possible that it could have been a botch. They believed that Voyager may have been mistakenly finding it and in this manner, may have been sending incorrect data back to us. If we decide to follow this unfolding path, it seems to be a conceivable clarification, given that Adventurer 1 was sent off as far back as 1977, very nearly 50 long years of dynamic service for mankind. One could anticipate that the test computers would have become exhausted and begun to mess up, floundering in their duties and sending back low-quality information to the ground team. As engaging as this situation sounds, specialists have advised that we shouldn't settle there, as it would be a slap to the conciliatory spirit of the pilgrim. Despite the cruel and flighty environment of space, 
Pilgrim 1 has consistently generated brilliant data about our universe in resistance to the rushed assumptions of cynics. The space test has maintained its long life because of its dual redundant computer systems, like its twin Explorer 2. Voyager 1 came equipped with two sets of command subsystems, Flight Information Systems, FDS, and Attitude and Articulation Control Systems, ACS. This has been the secret force behind the rocket's tough, battling soul. With regards to exploring through space and uncovering disclosures, the overt redundancy allowed for constant switching between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer parts, hence preserving their life expectancy. While planning Voyager 1, the engineers on Earth conceived a plan to improve the space apparatus efficiency. This expected that the test's instruments depend on improved systems, as they were obliged by time necessities and power budget constraints. Electrical engineers concluded that the instruments required to be developed using simplified systems that relied upon hardware logic. Consequently, Pioneer computer systems contain power management, six onboard computers integrated as a distributed system, with three dual redundant pairs. Having overcome this obstacle, specialists faced the next tall order, maintaining the systems. This overwhelming level was conquered by concocting a constant power management plan. Here's where it gets a bit interesting. Power management included supporting the functional elements of Explorer's computer systems, and to be honest, this is a difficult task given the limited power resources available on board the space apparatus. It was an instance of sending a tracker into the deep wild to hunt wild animals with just a handful of tools. All things considered, scientists found a strategy to get around this issue by conceiving a few measures to monitor and optimize power consumption on board the Pilgrim. A real example of these power management measures that experts contrived is the essential shutdown of trivial systems. Specialists were forced to make this difficult decision and used a precise approach to identify and deactivate parts or subsystems that are not critical for the shuttle's essential mission targets. We see proof of this when we check radiators out, related to specific instruments that had to be switched off. These radiators were initially designed to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures for optimal performance. Anyway, the story had to be revised by activating them only when necessary, because it drastically reduced power consumption on board the rocket. This decrease in the rocket's power use has a wave impact. It expands the test's life expectancy. This is a win-win arrangement for everybody. Likewise, we should remember that the decision to shut down trivial systems isn't taken lightly. Such an arranged action requires careful consideration of the compromises between power conservation and the scientific goals of the shuttle. Whenever such a decision was made, all hands had to be at hand. Trained professionals and specialists had to meet up and evaluate the impact of deactivating specific systems on the quality and availability of scientific data. Emotions were not guiding everything, it was all about the facts within reach. The team was driven by the desire to maximize power efficiency while maintaining the essential functionality of the rocket so it could continue to gather important data about our universe undisturbed. Engineers and specialists alike maintained that nothing should prevent Voyager 1 from uncovering the profound secrets locked away in the secret areas of space. Secrets that the universe has been keeping from us for years. Anyway, specific power reduction isn't the only way that NASA experts are keeping the traveler afloat and working ideally in space. They had one more significant advantage up their sleeves which they expected to offer that would be helpful to support the rocket. The trained professionals needed to devise power management strategies that are adapted to the ever-changing conditions of the shuttle's current environment. For instance, as Traveler 1 endeavors farther away from the sun, the available solar energy undergoes a decay. We would agree that this is an issue, but the specialists came prepared. They made up for this growing threat by ensuring that the space apparatus changed its power consumption accordingly. This flexible approach is a win for NASA engineers and analysts, as it ensures that the available power resources are efficiently allocated to support the test's critical tasks and data transmission back to Earth. The good news doesn't end here. There have been consistent technical advancements and updates in power management, which have allowed engineers to refine and streamline the space apparatus power system over the years. A close look at these upgrades reveals that they include more efficient power distribution, improved battery charging strategies, and advancements in power regulation and control.
the implementation of thoroughly examined and planned power management strategies has opened an exciting door for engineers. It has made it achievable for them to extend the operational lifespan of Pilgrim 1 alongside its twin Explorer 2. This is a significant accomplishment for standard specialists and the world generally. The careful task and management of force assets have furnished Explorer 1 with the necessary strength to continue exploring the depths of the universe. The revelation resounded through the halls of scientific inquiry. With seismic power, Neil deGrasse Tyson's earnest announcement resounded across the globe, stressing ten years of meticulous examination by Adventurer 1 in the midst of the vast domain of interstellar space. The shuttle had, incidentally found an anomaly. Five hundred jumbling elements, their beginnings and purposes shrouded in enormous mystery, exploring quietly through the void. This surprising experience started a free-for-all of scientific inquiry. Scientists and researchers worldwide began a concerted effort to understand these puzzling articles, endeavoring to decipher their beginnings and purposes. The exceptional disclosure by Adventurer 1 opened a new chapter in space exploration, testing existing theories and pushing new perspectives on cosmic peculiarities. The ongoing examination of this data promises to push the limits of our knowledge, possibly uncovering new insights into the nature of the universe and our place within it. As we dig further into the secret, the ultimate goal remains to reveal the truth behind these dark elements and their impact on our understanding of space. As researchers continue to delve into the mystery of the 500 dark objects identified by Traveler 1, the scope of exploration has expanded significantly. The initial data collected by the shuttle has already led to several intriguing hypotheses. One theory proposes that these objects could be remnants of ancient astronomical events, perhaps debris from exploded stars or crumbled asteroids. On the other hand, they may be made of materials unknown to current science, alluding to novel forms of matter or even entirely new physical phenomena. Astrophysicists are using advanced computer models to reproduce the trajectories and possible origins of these objects. By analyzing their paths and speeds, analysts hope to determine whether they share a common source or whether they originated from various distinct events. This part of the study is crucial for understanding the broader implications of the discovery, such as the possibility of previously unnoticed cosmic cycles or interactions. Observatories all over the planet have been enlisted to help with tracking these objects. Ground-based telescopes are being used to check and supplement the information returned by Pilgrim 1, providing a more comprehensive view of their properties. High-resolution imaging and spectral analysis are key parts of this work, aiming to identify any chemical signatures or physical properties that could reveal more about their nature. In addition to observational efforts, Theoretical physicists are investigating the potential impact of these discoveries on our understanding of fundamental physics. For example, if the objects exhibit strange gravitational effects or electromagnetic properties, they could offer insights into theories of dark matter or dark energy. Such findings could revolutionize our grasp of the universe's most enigmatic parts. The discovery has also spurred interdisciplinary collaboration. Cosmologists, mathematicians, and even specialists in material science are contributing their expertise to solve the enigma posed by these mysterious objects. This cooperative approach is fostering a more holistic understanding of the data and ensuring that all potential angles are explored. Educational institutions and research centers are now incorporating this new astronomical mystery into their programs, using it as a tool to inspire the next generation of scientists. Public interest in space exploration has surged, with many people eagerly following the progress of the investigation. This renewed interest in space science has led to increased funding and support for space missions and research, reflecting the broad allure and significance of the revelation. Furthermore, the implications of the discovery extend beyond the realm of science. If these objects are found to have unique properties or behaviors, they could have practical applications in technology and industry. For instance, if the objects contain novel materials with exceptional strength or conductivity, they may be used in advanced manufacturing or electronics. As the investigation advances, the academic community remains cautious, yet hopeful. The data returned by Pilgrim 1 is being thoroughly analyzed to rule out any anomalies or errors. 
Peer review and replication studies are essential to validating the findings and ensuring that the conclusions drawn are robust and reliable. In summary, the discovery of 500 dark objects by Voyager 1 has opened a new frontier in space exploration. The ongoing investigation into these mysterious entities is poised to expand our knowledge of the universe, challenge existing theories, and potentially uncover groundbreaking discoveries. The collaborative efforts of scientists worldwide highlight the significance of this finding and underscore the enduring mission for knowledge that drives space exploration. As we anticipate further revelations, the excitement and anticipation surrounding this vast mystery continue to grow, promising new insights into the universe's deepest secrets.